At 11, short-term rentals were back on the agenda in Virginia Beach tonight. City Council decided to allow more of them to operate in the resort city. Angelique Arentalk explains the additional rules rental owners now face. A years-long debate on short-term rentals, or STRs, in Virginia Beach draws another divided crowd to city council chambers. The side dressed in blue are pro-STR, meaning they defend responsible rental ownership and their contributions to the tourism industry. Why do we need to change the rules of the game on short-term rentals when we haven't even given it two years? Since 2019, the regulations on owners have become tighter. This is not even close to simple and extremely complicated and becoming more costly. City Council members Tuesday night approved more regulations for STR owners, including the addition of rental signage outside the building, required structural safety inspections every three years, as well as a two-year vacancy limit for grandfathered properties. So it's time to fix the problem and enforce the CUPs that are already there and hold legal ones accountable. Many dressed in red at the meeting largely spoke against STRs in the North End area. They value neighborhood character and peace. And STRs uh, in residential neighborhoods raise different concerns and require closer scrutiny. Perhaps the biggest change from council is their reversal on a July vote. New short-term rental owners in the Oceanfront Resort Overlay District are now allowed. The North End is not included. I, as an economist, believe competition is good for the marketplace. Longtime ODU economics professor Dr. Vinod Agarwal would argue a step further. He advocates for any homeowner to apply for an STR if they want to. We need to make life easier for residents, not harder. Make regulations which make sense to every citizen. As long as they don't impose costs on others, keep things simple. Let the market play out. A market which he says is here to stay. In Virginia Beach, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. New short-term rental owners in the Oceanfront Resort District will still need to apply for a conditional use permit through the city.